Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we'll be discussing tips for the removal and replacement of the camshaft position sensors on this 2025 Hyundai Kona with the 2.0 liter engine. If you find my tips to be helpful, please like, subscribe, and comment. Now let's get started. This is an inline four cylinder engine. You have two camshafts. On this side, you have your intake camshaft, and you know that because it's located closest to the intake manifold, okay? On this side, you have your exhaust camshaft, and you know that because it's located closest to the exhaust manifold, which is located right here, easily identifiable by the O2 sensor sticking out of the manifold. This is the intake camshaft sensor location, and this is the exhaust camshaft sensor location. Some of the symptoms associated with faulty sensors include stalling, no start, misfire, rough idle, and a check engine light with trouble codes P0012, P0013, and P0014. So you might ask, what do these parts do? Well, they work with the crankshaft sensor to define the exact position of the crankshaft cycle. All right, so let's quickly go over our supply list. Our supply list includes two sensors, and I recommend that you change both sensors at the same time because once you go in here and go through the trouble of opening the hood and doing all the work, you might as well just change both sensors because it's likely that they're both gonna go bad at the same time. And that's been my experience, okay? We're gonna need a 10 millimeter socket with a six inch extension and a ratchet. You may also need to perform an oil change and change out your oil filter. Other items might include a small flat tip screwdriver to unlock the locking mechanism on the electrical connector. Please see other items in the description below. So let's go ahead and move forward with the removal and replacement of the intake camshaft sensor. Both sensors can be removed and installed in the same manner. So I recommend that you remove the electrical connector first. And so I'm going to unlock the electrical connector by lifting up on these two little gray tips like that. And then you're gonna squeeze in, push down slightly and pull up, okay? Let's attack this 10 millimeter bolt. I did have it loose for demonstration purposes. Careful, this bolt is not very long. Wiggle and lift it straight out. And there you have it. That is your camshaft sensor for the intake camshaft. And so let's just go ahead and inspect it. There's three electrical leads there. I don't see any cracks. Just working from the top down. You'll notice that the area above the O-ring is very dry and that's exactly what you wanna see. O-ring is very pliable. So just kind of poke at it with your thumb. It shouldn't be dry or brittle. And this one isn't. And at the same time, you wanna go look at your, your valve cover and look to see if there's any oil around the camshaft position sensor location. And this one's completely dry as it should be, okay? If there was oil around the place where this is installed, you want to consider replacing the O-ring. You can find like a multi-pack of O-rings on the internet fairly easily or at your local parts store. One thing you might consider is they should be heat and oil resistant. So you could replace the O-ring without replacing the entire sensor. What I do want to recommend that 
if you take the sensor off and it's coated with oil and the oil is reddish brown or you could tell clearly that there's sludge on here before replacing the sensor you should always replace your engine oil and oil filter and then try to reset the check engine light before replacing the sensor okay because it's critical that you maintain your oil in very good condition because it will wreak havoc on these magnetic sensors okay and with that that's really all i wanted to cover um, and let's go ahead and get this sensor reinstalled so we're going to go straight down wiggle push drop it in place line up the hole for the bolt hold on to that bolt very tightly do not drop it Thread it in. Okay. Tighten the bolt down. This has to be snug, maybe five pound feet of pressure. Now we're looking at our electrical connector, looking at that rubber gasket and these electrical connections right here. The gasket is not deformed. That's what really what you're checking for. And those electrical prongs are not bent. Slide it on, listen for the click. There you go, and then lock it down. Well folks, that wraps up the removal, replacement, and troubleshooting of the camshaft position sensors on this Hyundai Kona with the 2.0 liter engine. I hope you found my tips to be helpful. Please like and subscribe. And until next time, drive defensively.